Welcome back Wasteland Wanderers, it's time for another edition of the must-have weekly Fallout 4 mods. As always, we're scouring the Nexus and beyond to bring you the best and most innovative mods for your post-apocalyptic journey. Whether you're looking to spice up your gameplay, enhance your graphics, or just add a little more variety to your settlement building, we've got you covered. So sit back, grab a Nuka Cola, and let's dive into this week's top mods. If you click the subscribe and like button before the video starts, it helps a lot to grow the channel. Then let's start. The first mod to introduce is Photon Disruptor. The Photon Disruptor is a high-tech energy weapon that fires powerful beams of light to destroy enemies. It is a unique and custom-made weapon that was designed by the Institute, and it is unlike any other weapon found in the base game. The weapon is fully animated and features custom reload animations, including a unique reload animation for Gen 1 and 2 synths that is designed to make use of their unique body mechanics. The reload animation is a nice touch that adds to the immersive feel of the mod. To obtain the Photon Disruptor, players will need to search for it on Institute synths or staff. The weapon is quite rare and has a low chance of spawning, so players may need to explore the Institute and its surrounding areas thoroughly to find it. Once the player has obtained the Photon Disruptor for the first time, they will be able to craft it at a chemistry bench under the name Photon Disruptor. This allows the player to create additional copies of the weapon and mod it to their liking. Overall, the Photon Disruptor mod is a well-made and unique addition to Fallout 4 that adds a new weapon to the game and provides a new challenge for players to find it. The custom animations and unique reload animation add to the immersion and make the weapon feel like a true Institute creation. The second mod to introduce is the Vault Tech Suit. The Vault Tech Suit mod is a mod for Fallout 4 that allows players to create a custom suit that functions as both light armor and clothing. The suit is designed differently than the iconic Vault Tech jumpsuit from the Fallout series, with a blue and black color scheme and tactical body lines that stand out. Players can craft the suit at a chemistry station using a combination. Once crafted, the suit can be modified at an armor workbench to improve its stats or add additional features, such as pockets for carrying more items or upgraded armor plating. In addition to the basic Vault Tech suit, the mod also includes a variety of other pieces that can be crafted and modified, including helmets, gloves, and boots. These pieces can be mixed and matched to create a custom look, and can be further customized using the Body Slide tool. Therefore, the Vault Tech Suit mod provides players with a fun and customizable option for their character's armor, allowing them to embrace the classic Fallout aesthetic while still enjoying the benefits of modern armor and crafting mechanics. The third mod to introduce is the Static Object Decorator. The Static Object Decorator mod is a Fallout 4 modification that contains over 1,600 static items that can be crafted in the game's workshop mode. The mod includes a wide range of pre-war and post-war items, such as food, drinks, chems, decorations, rugs, and pre-decorated furniture. The mod includes a large number of pre-decorated items, such as all furniture and wall shelves pre-decorated from the pre-war sanctuary player home in pre- and post-war textures, as well as several decorated coffee tables and filled bookcases. The mod includes several categories of items, such as armor, armor racks, lamps, fridge, post-war furniture, and collections. The armor section includes armor for the arms and legs, and some armor racks feature posed NPCs, which may make them harder to select in workshop mode. The lamps under decorations do not light up and are for decoration only, while powered lamps are listed under power. The crafting requirements for the items vary, with some requiring the components obtained from scrapping vanilla counterparts, while others have random requirements. Users can use console commands to give themselves unlimited resources if they do not wish to use up their resources crafting items from this mod. Settlement Menu Manager is used to add the items to the workshop. The fourth mode to introduce is BOCW SEAL Team 10. 
BOCW SEAL Team 10 is a mod created by a modder to recreate the looks of Navy SEAL's VBSS teams during the 90s. The mod adds various items such as uniforms, loadout options, and helmets to Fallout 4. Players can find these items in the Chem Bench under BOCW 90s vibes and in the Armor Bench for both male and female characters. The BOCW SEAL Team 10 mod contains one uniform with two loadout options that players can choose from. The loadout options provide players with additional customization options, allowing them to create a unique appearance for their character. The uniform is designed to recreate the look of Navy SEAL's VBSS teams during the 90s, giving players a taste of that era's military style. In addition to the uniform and loadout options, the mod also includes three helmets that players can use to further customize their character's appearance. These helmets are designed to match the style of the uniform and help players immerse themselves in the world of Fallout 4 as a member of a Navy SEAL team. The BOCW SEAL Team 10 mod is a personal mashup created by a modder to recreate the looks of Navy SEAL's VBSS teams during the 90s. The mod adds various items to Fallout 4, including a uniform, loadout options, and helmets that players can use to customize their character's appearance. These items can be found in the Chem Bench and can be customized in the Armor Bench. With this mod, players can experience a new level of immersion in the Fallout 4 world, giving them the opportunity to role-play as a member of a Navy SEAL team. The fifth mode to introduce is the FO4 Plug-in Auto Cleaning Tool. FO4 Plug-in Auto Cleaning Tool 10 mod is a tool designed to automate the process of cleaning plugins for Fallout 4. It uses XEdit FO4 Edit SSE Edit to remove identical to master records and undisabled references, which can cause conflicts between mods and potentially lead to broken quests or game crashes. The tool works for both Mo2 and Vortex and includes a user-friendly graphical interface. It's important to note that cleaning plugins are generally considered safe, but Pact will skip cleaning DLCs for the time being. ITMs should be cleaned or removed whenever possible to avoid conflicts with other mods, while UDRs should be restored and properly disabled to prevent broken quests or game crashes. The sixth mode to introduce is Player Exclusive Kicks and Punches Animations. The Player Exclusive Kicks and Punches Animations mod is a mod for video games that modifies the third-person animations of the player character's unarmed, knuckles, and boxing gloves actions. This mod replaces the generic animations with exclusive ones, giving the player a unique look and feel when fighting in-game. The mod works by replacing the existing animations with custom-made ones, which are designed to fit the game's style and mechanics. The mod includes several different animation options, giving players the ability to choose the ones they like best. The animations are designed to look realistic, and the mod aims to improve the overall immersion of the game by making combat feel more satisfying and engaging. In summary, the Player Exclusive Kicks and Punches Animations mod is a mod that replaces the standard third-person animations for unarmed, knuckles, and boxing gloves actions with custom-made ones. The mod offers a range of animation options that add an exclusive touch to the game and make combat more enjoyable. This mod is ideal for players who want to customize their character's appearance and enhance the immersion of the game. The seventh mod to introduce is HD American Hazelnut Bush. The HD American Hazelnut Bush mod is a mod for the game Skyrim that replaces all the low-resolution holly bushes with HD 2K and 4K Coralus Americana, also known as American Hazelnut Bushes. The mod aims to enhance the visual quality of the game by improving the textures of the bushes, giving players a more immersive and realistic gameplay experience. By using this mod, players can expect to see a significant improvement in the quality of the bushes in the game, making them more detailed and realistic. The new textures are designed to blend seamlessly with the game environment, creating a more cohesive and visually pleasing experience. This mod is particularly useful for players who value the visual aspect of the game and want to enhance their gaming experience. The mod is also easy to install and does not require any special knowledge or technical expertise. Therefore, the HD American Hazelnut Bush mod is a great addition to the game Skyrim for players who want to enhance the visual quality of the game. 
It replaces all the low-resolution holly bushes with HD 2K and 4K Coralis Americana bushes, providing a more immersive and realistic gameplay experience. And that's it for this week's must-have Fallout 4 mods. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found some new additions to enhance your experience in the Commonwealth. Be sure to check out the links in the description for all the mods featured in this video, and let us know in the comments what mods you'd like to see in future videos. Until next time, keep surviving out there, Wastelanders.